Hi, in this video we'll talk about polling in jQuery. Polling is a process where we uh, send a request at a uh, regular interval uh, to the same backend again and again in order for the expectation that the data would come in a specific format or we want the updated data to be displayed to the user at all times. So we can achieve polling in jQuery uh, by using the refetch interval option in the use query hook and uh, here is uh, here how is how we will do it so first of all in order to use jack query we will uh, use the query client um, and query client provider and you know pass the query client in it so that um, we can use the jack query inside this particular component which is named uh, query polling so right now if i refresh um, there isn't anything here so i can do um no um so let's use the use query hook so i will say use query and i'll pass the query key let's call it get to do's um and let's pass a function as a second parameter which will be used for making the request so for the request endpoint i'm using json placeholder so let's uh, copy this particular endpoint and say const uh, data is equal to await axios dot get uh, and then return the data um, right now if i go to this particular url and i refresh you can see that uh, the particular request went only one time just like you would expect because the query key is a constant and you know it has 200 records which you can see um but if i want to uh, refetch it after second sub uh, particular interval then i will pass an object of options one of them is, which is um, refetch interval refetch interval has three types uh, it can be a number which will specify the number of milliseconds after which the request should go false which is the default value which means it shouldn't refetch and then a function which would return either number or false which would um indicate you know inside the function will check the data and you know, will return number of false type um i will see it later in this tutorial for right now you know let's type 3000 and you can see that after three seconds a request went and after that another three seconds a request went again and you can see in this waterfall view that a request is go uh, um, let me refresh so that the waterfall view is clear mm. a request went now you can see that this request went at 218 millisecond this request went at 3.26 millisecond this request went at 6.39 so approximately three seconds after every three seconds a request is going so um this is cool um we can also pass a function here inside the function we will get the param inside the param we would get the data which we are returning here in the query function and we can check you know have a particular condition on that function which um, you know we are checking something um, because so that if uh, the, the data comes in a particular shape then we will you know stop the refetching and if not then you know we will keep on refetching till that data comes in a particular shape so i can say for now if data dot length is greater than 250 then it should return false otherwise it should return 3000 as i was doing before so now if i refresh you can see the request went for one time and the request went again and the request went again why because the condition is that i'm saying that if the data length is more than 250 that is if there are 250 records then it should return false and then it should, should stop polling but we all know that the data is static and it's always 200 records so this condition would always be false how about if i convert it into data length greater than 150 and i refresh now it should send the request only once because now the condition is always true um, the first request uh, a request happened because the number of records is 200 which is more than 150 uh, request is true this if condition is true and it has returned false and now you know the refetch won't occur again and again it's cool 
um yeah so these are the three things uh, we have uh, seen as far as refreshing is concerned now another thing let's pass 3000 and let's refresh so uh, request uh, happened a refresh happened a refresh happened and now okay so now i have changed the tab and now the tab is not in focus basically so essentially um if our understanding is correct because a lot of seconds have passed by this um, you know we should be at like six or seven refreshes by now or eight um, because a lot of time has passed by but when i return to the tab you can see that there are only three refreshes and now the refreshes have started happening again why because by default the refresh interval fetches refetches only when the tab is in focus if you want to change that then there is another option refresh interval in background and that is a boolean option so you pass either true or false false is um, by default a value so if i pass true now and then i refresh you can see one refresh two refresh now i have changed the tab and you know now if i switch back to the tab then there should be you know like four five six refreshes because that is the amount of time being spent so now i go back and you can see that there are five refreshes so if you add this option as well now the refreshes will keep on happening even if the tab is in the background and you're doing something else so based on the, your application you can either employ this or this this or that and uh, you know you can poll so i hope you find this tutorial useful if you like any further react query tutorials or web tutorials in general you can comment down below I'll, and i will try to make them and i post um, almost after every one two days so you can subscribe and you know you can um, get um, all these videos uh, for free so uh, like and comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye